Hello students, welcome to Horizon Talent. As you know, we are studying very important chapter that is life process in which we are going to start the new topic that is excretion. So what do you understand by excretion? Excretion means removal of something. So here in the life process, we are talking about excretion. So here excretion means removal of harmful and unwanted products from the body is known as excretion. Okay, so here let me write excretion means removal of harmful and unwanted products unwanted products from the body is called excretion is called excretion okay so what happens whatever we eat or we drink so unwanted after the digestion whatever the unwanted products are there in the body which are harmful for the body okay then they are thrown out of the body by the process of excretion okay so if we talk about human body or if we talk about ourselves as we are human beings so urea is the main nitrogenous waste which is excreted by the body okay and this urea is generally formed by the breakdown of nucleic acid and amino acid okay so let me mention urea is the main nitrogenous waste waste in our body waste in our body okay and urea is formed formed by the breakdown of amino acid and nucleic acid urea is formed by the breakdown of amino acid and nucleic acid nucleic acid okay so just a minute okay and when the urea is formed in our body then blood transport this urea to the kidney for filtration and in the removal of the urine okay so here we can mention blood transport blood transport the urea to the kidney for filtration blood transport the urea to the kidney for filtration and removal in the form of urea and the removal of of urine okay or we can say and the removal in the form of in the form of urine okay so this complete process is known as excretion. So what is excretion? The unwanted or the harmful substances or harmful products which are not required for the body. Okay, so they are excreted by the body by the process of excretion. And generally the nitrogenous waste, uh, this process of excretion is uh, associated with the nitrogenous waste so in our human body urea is the main nitrogenous waste and generally urea is formed by the breakdown of what by the breakdown of amino acid and nucleic acid okay so we can say that we all know that blood helps in the circulation or blood helps in the transportation of different materials which are present in the body or uh, it absorbs the nutrients and other waste products as well and transport them from the one part of the body to the another part. So here blood transports the urea to the kidney for the filtration and the removal in the form of urine. Okay, so here we can say that uh, whatever the waste materials are there, they are transported 
from one part of the body to the another part of the body by this blood only okay so blood transport uh, the urea to the kidney for filtration and uh, removal in the form of urine okay now on the basis of this nitrogenous waste product excreted from the body animals can be divided into three groups what are they they are yes so here the animals are divided into three groups on the basis of their uh, nitrogenous waste they are amono sorry that they are amonotelic and ureotelic and ureotelic third one is uricotelic okay so here we can say that on the basis of principal nitrogenous waste product excreted from the body animals can be divided into three categories they are amonotelic okay ureotelic and uricotelic clear so here first of all we are going to talk about amonotelic so amonotelic if you talk about the animals which are known as amonotelic they uh, the waste product is ammonia which is highly toxic okay so here solubility in water if you talk about the solubility of this ammonia then it is highly soluble this is the reason they need plenty of water for its excretion okay so such kind of animals are aquatic animals for example bony fishes amoeba and tadpoles of frog so these animals are known as uh, ammonotelic why because they excrete the product that is ammonia okay here nitrogenous waste is ammonia and it is highly soluble this is the reason they need plenty of water for its excretion okay next group of uh, animals is ureotelic ureotelic why because the product formed uh, means excretory product here is the urea this is the reason they are known as ureotelic fine so here the if you talk about the solubility in water then they are less soluble they are less soluble this is the reason they need less water for the excretion fine example of uh, ureotelic are cartilaginous fishes like shark frog and mammals these are ureotelic because the waste product they excrete is urea okay this is less toxic next is ureo uricotelic uricotelic because they excrete or the excretory product is uric acid which is least toxic we are talking about the least toxic product excretory product that is uric acid so here if we talk about the solubility in water these are insoluble solids or we can say they are semi solids and they need very little water for the excretion okay for example of uh, uricotelic are birds reptiles and insects so thus we can say on the basis as i told you that in the excretion main uh, product main uh, nitrogenous waste is the basic excretory product and on the basis of this nitrogenous waste generally animals are of three type ammonotelic ureotelic and uricotelic okay amino ammonotelic means the excretory product is ammonia which is highly toxic uricotelic means excretory product is urea and uricotelic means excretory product is uric acid okay so this is the reason on the basis of their nitrogenous waste they are divided on the three groups again i am repeating on the basis of nitrogenous waste they are means animals are categorized into three groups ammonotelic means they uh, excrete the product which is rich in ammonia that is ammonia uricotelic ureotelic means they excrete the product ure urea and uricotelic they excrete product uric acid okay so here on the basis of nitrogenous waste the animals were of three types next is excretory organs so the organs what are excretory organs the organs which help in the excretion are known as excretory organs so here we are with the definition the organs which remove the waste products of metabolism from the animal body are termed as excretory organs definitely we understand by it term itself excretory organs means the organs which help in the removal of waste product from the body they are known as excretory 
organs okay so here we are going to talk about the excretory organs in the different animals here if we talk about amoeba then uh, its excretory structure is cellular surface means amoeba excrete the uh, waste material by its cellular surface only okay and here the waste product of amoeba is ammonia clear make a note that amoeba excrete the uh, waste material from its cellular surface itself and here the waste product of amoeba is ammonia next we will talk about hydra so hydra uh, excrete the pro waste product by its body surface and again the waste product of hydra is also ammonia next is flatworm so flatworm again the excretory structure if we talk about the excretory structure then it excretes by the proton nephridia which are also known as flame cells and here in the flatworm waste product is mainly ammonia okay so thus we can say that in the amoeba hydra flatworm though they excrete by the different processes but the waste product is here ammonia okay next is earthworm so if we talk about earthworm then in the earthworm excretory structure is nephridia okay and uh, waste product is ammonia or urea insects like cockroach if we talk about insects like cockroach on in the cockroach excretory structure is malphigian tubules okay and uh, their product waste product is uric acid so thus we can say they are uricotalic all vertebrates so we all are vertebrates we human are also counting the vertebrates okay so these in the vertebrates excretory structures are kidneys and waste product is urea ammonia or uric acid okay so here we talked about the different types of uh, animals on the basis of this nitrogenous waste and the uh, different types of waste in the different animals and we studied about their uh, excretory organs also okay now we are going to talk about humans so in the humans generally are uh, two types i must say generally two types of uh, excre excretory organs are found in the humans excretory organs organs in the human so if we talk about the human then there are two types of excretory system first is primary primary excretory organ and another is additional okay additional excretory organ so if we talk about primary excretory organ then these are kidneys okay these are kidneys and additional excretory organs are we can mention skin we can mention here skin liver lungs large intestine and small intestine large intestine and small intestine okay so thus we can say in the human two types of excretory organs are found first one which is known as primary excretory organ that is kidney and additional are skin liver lungs large intestine and small intestine these are the part or we can say these parts of the body helps to excrete waste materials okay but the kidneys are the primary excretory organs we will talk about them in the detail but before them i must tell you skin about the skin if we talk about the skin then in the skin there are two types of glands sweat glands and sebaceous glands okay let me mention first of all we will talk about the additional excretory organs in the detail okay so here we are going to talk about skin 
Generally, skin has two types of gland, sweat glands and sebaceous glands. It has two types of glands. Sweat glands and sebaceous glands. Okay, so if we talk about sweat glands, so swe uh, sweat glands consist of 99% of water, okay, they release sweat and this sweat consists of 99% of water, rest of lactic acid, amino acids, okay, let me mention these release, these glands, these glands, excretes sweat sweat contains sweat contains 99.5% water and traces of amino acid lactic acid and salt okay this is the reason after sweating we feel some salt on our skin why because sweat glands release the sweat or excrete the sweat which contains water stresses of lactic acid amino acid and salt clear now another is sebaceous glands these glands releases oil from the skin which provide lubricant to the hair okay so next is sebaceous next is sebaceous glands sebaceous these glands excrete these glands excrete these glands excrete oil or sebum it provides lubricant to the hair Okay, so thus we can say skin also helps in the excretion of waste material in the form of sweat and oil. Okay, next is liver. Next we are going to talk about liver. Next is liver. So, liver helps or helps in the excretion of what? It helps in the excretion of amino acid which is very toxic in nature. Okay, so here we can mention uh, extra amino acid, extra amino acid, extra amino acid are deaminated, extra amino acids are deaminated and toxic amino acid along with the carbon dioxide and toxic amino acid along with carbon dioxide is converted into is converted into less harmful less harmful urea less harmful urea in the liver okay so this is the function of liver that liver uh, in the liver extra amino acids are deaminated and toxic amino acid along with carbon dioxide is converted into less harmful urea in the liver 
okay next we will talk about the lungs so we all know or you are studying from the uh, primary classes itself that the lungs help in the excretion of carbon dioxide okay so next is lungs so lungs excretes carbon dioxide lungs helps in the or excrete directly we can mention excretes lungs excretes carbon dioxide from the body okay Okay, so here uh, we are talking about the lungs. So, lungs excretes the carbon dioxide from the blood. Okay, next is large intestine. Large intestine. So, this large intestine helps in the excretion of heavy metals. It uh, secretes or we can say it excretes the heavy metals in the fecal matter okay let me mention it helps in the removal it helps or it excretes heavy metals it excretes heavy metals in the fecal matter into the into the <coughs> fecal matter okay next is oh next is salivary glands here i should mention salivary glands salivary glands okay so next we will talk about the salivary glands So, these salivary glands helps in the excretion of toxic substances and uh, we can say excess drugs, okay. So, here let me mention salivary glands. These glands, these glands excrete small quantity, small quantity of toxins excess drugs okay and and salts as or by we can mention here these glands excrete small quantity of toxins, excess drugs and salts. Okay. So, here we studied about the excretion, the process of excretion. In this lecture, we studied about the process of excretion means the removal of harmful substances from the body which are unwanted, which are not required by the body and if they will be in the body for the long time, definitely they will cause harm to the body. So, this process of removal of unwanted and harmful substances from the body is known as excretion. On the basis of uh, nitrogenous waste, the animals are divided into three categories. We have already studied ammonotalic, ureotalic and uricotalic. Okay. And uh, different animals have different types of excretory structures and they have the different excretory products means waste product which are ammonia, urea and uric acid fine so here we studied in the human generally in the human two types of excretory organs are found which are primary organs and additional excretory organs so primary organ is kidney and additional uh, excretory organs are skin liver lungs large intestine and salivary gland so here we 
studied about the additional excretory organs in our next lecture we will talk about the primary excretory organ that is kidney so in our next lecture we are going to talk about the human excretory system till then take care thank you